to me about your first Aikido teacher. And it's, I, I believe it's, you, you mentioned in the book that it's called Shen Kung, which is the Jedi abilities. Oh, um, uh, well, Al Alexander was with you for the last the, one. The, uh, the Aikido teacher had some uh, Jedi abilities, which mainly consisted of pushing people without touching them. And he had that pretty strongly. It's funny because the first uh, teacher I went looking for had Jedi abilities, which is pretty uh, amazing, actually, if you think about it, because that's kind of like my path going. But Shen Kun, it doesn't have anything to do with that Aikido teacher. Um, Shen Kun, uh, Steve Smith mentioned it to me. He said that Mr. Young, uh, Bruce Lee didn't even know about Shen Kun. Oh, he, Mr. Young taught him Ji Kun. Um, so Shen Kun is basically what I call the Jedi abilities. And so that's part of the uh, training in Tian Shan to develop these abilities. Um, so that's what Shen Kun means to us. Interesting. And, and now, um, were you, uh, uh, you know, Alec, Alexander Kukolnik is known for, he even taught, uh, uh, Shaolin Temple Europe, um, some of his empty force abilities and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, and you, you mentioned that you guys didn't play around with empty force that much um, while he was there and stuff like that. But um, you obviously have a video on YouTube where you're pushing Chris uh, right. Fazio uh, with Shen Kung or empty force, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, you know, um, so you mentioned in the book essentially that there's people that can actually there's levels to Shenkun, if you will. People you know that are sensitive to energy is easier to move, but people who aren't very sensitive, you can't move them and stuff like that. Um, a true master is someone that can like you know move a non-sensitive people, if you will. Am I correct on that? And also, um, you know, what 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 level would you say you are right now with empty force and Shenkun? Uh, well, um, yeah, your, uh, your ability to push people increases as you cultivate. And who you can push depends on how sensitive they are to energy and pressure. Like, for example, Chris was, uh, had developed good energy sensitivity and the ability to develop pressure. So um, he responded really well. And, of course, that's what the, all the people who make these videos, that's what they like to show is the people who respond well. And that's kind of uh, maybe dishonest slightly because they're not telling you that they can't do this to some other people. Like say you get some uh, big muscle building, bodybuilding lummox with hard muscles and never meditated in his life. He couldn't feel energy no matter what you do. Um, somebody like that would be really hard to push. They, okay. they just simply would not. You couldn't push them unless you're maybe really high level. But the thing is, uh, pushing is kind of a game you play just to, just for fun, you know? It doesn't really accomplish a whole lot unless somebody wants to attack you and you can make them fall down in front of an oncoming bus or something or train. Um, it's better to use it for uh, striking. For example, if you uh, hit somebody with an energy strike, Somebody who is not sensitive, they might not feel it, but they would still get hurt. <clears throat> um, so anyway, uh, Chris was very sensitive. And the thing is, you see, he was standing with his feet parallel, so he was not resisting the push. In other words, he was just standing there. And, and people, they want to feel the push. They want to see if they can feel it. They want to see if they can be pushed. So they're actually cooperating in a way. Um, and he, and he was cooperating. I mean, I did it when he was turned around, facing away from, so, so he didn't know, and so you could tell it was real. Uh, but it would be different if he put it, put one foot behind the other, and he was bracing, and he was trying to resist the push. And that's something that I think uh, I want to try more in the future. So since I'm usually here alone, what I started doing is um, playing around with pushing myself. Like I can push myself away from a wall without touching the wall. I show that in a video, and I found out I can always also push on empty space. Like I can just stand in the middle of the room and imagine there's a wall there and push against it. And uh, 
Some days it works better than others, but once it made me jump back a couple of feet, usually it just throws me off balance. Like I have one foot behind the other, so I can't move back too easily. So I kind of drift off to one side. Uh, but that's a certain kind of mind game because you see, um, if I focus in the right way and push against a wall or, uh, you know, not touching the wall or empty space, I can push myself away quite easily, even if I try to resist the push. But the thing is, there are other times where I can just make this pushing motion without focusing and then nothing happens. So the interesting part is trying to determine what aspect of your mind involvement is allowing the push to happen. That's, you know, that's learning some real stuff. It's like trying to figure out why it happens sometimes and why it doesn't happen others. If you can figure that out, then you have a big key. Right. Um,